Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Star Wars Conquest Let's Play. So in the previous episode, we were working on improving our relations with a couple of our uh, smaller planets, including Almania and Zyos, and uh, we did some training, or some uh, villager training for Almania, and then Zyos wanted us to find wheat, and so I went ahead and did that between episodes. Dantooine had a lot of it. So I basically bought all of it, uh, like enough to fill my inventory, because it was really, really cheap. It was like eight credits per bag so I'm thinking we can turn a profit on it anywhere but before we try that we should probably make our delivery to make sure that we have enough uh, while we're headed over there I would like to remind you guys to hit that like button if you would like to see some more Star Wars conquest if you keep those likes coming I'll certainly keep the videos coming and then if uh, you could subscribe as well that would be great it's the best way to help the channel grow and the best way to follow along with this uh, playthrough so, Zyos, let's get this going. Um, let's talk to the administrator. We're at minus 10, which is unfortunate, but that was partly our fault. We had to turn down one of the nerf quests that they gave us, which hurt our relations with them a little bit. So here are the four packs of wheat. They're going to like me a little bit more. Is there anything else I can... No, sorry, pal. Uh, we're going to lose the relations that we just gained. Uh, why did I ask? The, the nerf quests are broken, so we're at minus five. At least at least we made a small stride there. Um, Raxus, do you guys need any wheat? I'm curious what we can get for it here. Because this is the only planet I've seen that has it is Dantooine, so I'm thinking that anybody else would be happy to pay a hefty price for it. Let's see. They'll pay me 44. I paid 8, so yeah, let's do it. I think I paid 225 for. Yeah, I think I paid 225 total and I'm making 806 back. That's pretty good. Especially considering I gave some away. Okay. So we're actually back at the amount of money we needed in order to buy the ship that we purchased so let's take a look at other ships um, we're nowhere near what we need for one of the big ships which is unfortunate but it's you know it's never painful to look um, let's see what they've got so this is what we have right here for 30k uh, this is a troop capacity of three the only way we can really improve that is to go to something honestly none of these have better troop capacity so yeah these go for like 90k and the troop capacity is still three so no point in upgrading to that. Um, the big guys that we saw were zero. This one here for 170,000 is troop capacity five. So the Star Destroyer is slightly better, um, but it starts out at two of five. We're currently at three of three. So we would actually lose troop capacity if we bought this and then we'd have to pay money to work it back up. Um, but again, 170,000. So we're only 140,000 short. Only. Um, oh, while, while we're here, I haven't been to the bank in a while. I'm curious to see what we're working with. Oh, nice. So we have we have another uh, 25,000 in the bank. Um, I'm gonna leave that in there because the more money in the bank, the more uh, interest we earn on it. In fact, I'm gonna deposit some credits. I wish there should tell you somewhere uh, how many credits you have with you. Um, I know it's like 32,000 because I just checked, but that's kind of valuable information in here. So we're down to like 30 now. Let's do 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're going to put basically half of our money into the bank here. So we were earning 8% interest on 41,000 credits, which is pretty good. We may actually be able to earn that ship sooner than we thought. Uh, obviously, we've got the interest plus all the uh, rents and things from our uh, planets as well. So we're about 16,000. Yeah, we give them about half. So next up on the agenda is we need to take back Kessel Battles. Or not take back. We need to take Kessel Battle Station. Um, we'll pay everything in cash. Because that's the only part of the Kessel system that doesn't belong to us at the moment. And so that will effectively push the Empire out of this sector. Um, they'll have Camino and Geonosis down here, but otherwise they won't have any reason to really fly around my home planets other than to outright attack me. And then from Kessel, I think we're going to call that like our southern border. 
And then if we attack the Empire any further, it will be west at Taurus or Mandalore. Um, before we do anything stupid, let's actually look at the garrison here. So 110 plus 91, 200 in total. Um, but yeah, I would really like to focus on the huts. That's going to be much easier said than done. Because we know that the huts can be exceedingly difficult at sieges because they like melee combat and typically in sieges you spawn right on top of the enemy which gives us little to no advantage against them it looks like my patrol fleets are doing their job here I wish these deserters weren't so damn like threatening I don't know how they got so big but there's a couple parties this size like 100 150 deserters flying around and they attack you when you're trying to besiege stuff and you have to pay them off it's not a lot of money but it's still annoying and if it ever gets to the point where you can't pay them off you know that could be a pretty threatening group because they have a, a pretty good variety of troops this one's not particularly great but they're mixing like imperial imperial uh, hut and like pirate troops together for sort of a strange combo that actually could prove pretty effective so I guess we'll begin the siege here. I'm a little bit reluctant to dive in, but we're going to go for it. Um, we could try talking to the commander. He's not going to surrender, though. I can virtually guarantee you that. Yeah, he thinks we're joking. They do outnumber us two to one, but we've seen how well that works for them. So let's assault the shields. And, oh, he's actually, no. He almost left me alone. Yeah, yeah, I'll pay. Leave me alone. You know, I, I would recruit you guys if you would just go away or stop attacking me. I'll pay... Oh, 5,100 credits for General Maximilian Veers. I guess I have no choice but to accept. Can't afford to lose the honor anymore. And they're actually starting to offer fairly decent um, sums for the, the people. Before they were offering like two, 3,000. They've, they've been offering basically double that, so I figure we may as well do it. Let's go ahead and lead our soldiers in the assault. we got to be very, very cautious here because this is our last wound after all. So, as usual, it's going to spawn us right on top of them. I'm going to set up my men over there and tell them to spread out a bit. And then I'm going to get to cover. And I'll deal with the storm troopers here. Oh, there's quite a few of you guys in here. Get out of here. Yeah, I'll cut through this group here just because they're right on top of us. Are you standing on something? Oh, you are, okay. Well, that is one big-ass sword trooper. Okay. So you shoot me. Cut your hand off. Okay. Wow, that didn't get me. Oh, look at you blocking stuff. That shouldn't really count, because he didn't necessarily block it so much as the swing got interrupted. Okay. Now that we've thinned their ranks a bit, hopefully our guys can uh, handle this. I'm going to move them back this way a bit. They seem to be pushed like really far over for some reason. Spread out a little bit more. And then... Uh, can I grab this? No. These damn force powers just don't seem to work. I think it's something with um, the port. The fact that it's been ported over to Warband, I think, broke a little bit of the uh, force mechanics. Let's go deal with this guy. Oh, never mind. I'm going to move up to the wall here, because as soon as we clear this group out, I'm going to push up my forces a bit. And so I'll kind of help them do that. This is relatively safe right here. As long as I don't turn that corner. Yeah, come run into this. Oh, who shot me? Damn, I'm beat up. No, come on, somebody get him. Oh, they're moving in. I better retreat. Let's fall back to this very, very low poly uh, landing shuttle. Oh, I've got some guys back here. So they're moving into this room. Can I get up on top of there? I think I can. Yeah. I'll command from here. I'm gonna get shot, watch. We're doing pretty good though. We're doing pretty good. 
I don't know that they'll get reinforcements. I mean, they might. Let's see. Um, yeah, they will because they're only about halfway through their men. A little bit more than half, but still. Okay, let's see. I'm going to line you up. And you're dead. Oh, no, you're not. Now you are. So where are the reinforcements? Or is that it? I know they have more troops. It's just a matter of where they are. Let's advance a bit, and then I'll go peek around the corner. They could all be stuck on this side. Oh, here's somebody. Nope. Let's go deal with this guy. And is that the end of the battle? It is. So we'll probably have to fight that again, because that definitely wasn't all of their troops. A lot of casualties there. 40, in fact. So 16 dead, 24 wounded. Um, that's not too bad, but that is literally 40% 40, 40 of our fighting force. So that really, really hampers our ability to uh, follow up this next battle. Meanwhile, they have 103 dead, 7 wounded, which is effectively half of their army. Um, so we're going to have to fight this again. Hopefully we can uh, finish them off in one more go. Or is it just going to give it to me? Huh. Strange. Um, I'll take all the rebel cadets and then give me... Is there a difference? Um, I guess just give me five of these since that'll fill my party. Veteran Stormtroopers. Sure. Okay, let's go ahead and access the item pool. I'm, I'm surprised they gave that to me. I wonder if the, uh, the uh, enemy general fled or something. It, it must have been because he had 90, the garrison was about 110, and that's roughly what we defeated. So it's fallen to my troops. Yeah, he ran away. Very interesting. Wasn't he the one saying that we were out of our minds for attacking it and that he would never surrender? I find that kind of funny. Okay, so yeah, apparently he's gone. That's him right there, actually. He's chasing one of my patrols. So, let's go deal with him. I got gotcha. you. I got you. Uh, maybe you should have defended it, pal, instead of running away. I am only going to say this once. Actually, this is the second time I'm saying it, so I take that back. Surrender or die. Um, okay, you're the one who's been running away, so... At least we'll be fittingly fighting him on Kessel, the system that we just took from him. Everyone is ready for battle. So we're going to get set up right here. And then let's spread out a bit, as we normally do. I'm going to put the marksman up on the high ground right here just to further spread our guys out a bit and then as soon as they start advancing I'm gonna send my bikes to intercept them all one of them dude come on you're supposed to intercept not go right by him in vaguely the same area damn it that's exactly what I didn't want okay come on come at me Damn it. <laughs> he came at me. Alright, um, I better deal with this. Honestly, they're not that big a threat. They charged way too far forward because typically the, the main obstacle that those guys pose is that... Um... Okay, I was trying to get them to move over here. Typically, the, the main threat that those guys pose is that they can get behind your lines, then your army starts turning around to fight them while, uh... Damn, that Sith just got wrecked. Starts to turn around and fight them while the other army is engaging from the front. So basically, you get flanked. Um, in sending them so far forward so early, they basically wasted that opportunity. I'm going to get out of the firing lines here because I'm obviously wounded. Let's see, Marksman, can you move over to there and then stand a little bit closer? 
Let's see. Stand closer. Yeah, tighten up your ranks a bit and provide a little bit of crossfire. But I think this one is basically over. In fact, uh, you guys can all charge all of our shock troops. And actually, I'm going to borrow this. Oh, I'm, I can't. I'm not good enough. Is that it? That's it. One wound that time. Uh, that wasn't his whole army, though. So we're going to have to fight them again. Okay. So set up right there and spread out a bit. Marksmen, come over here. And... Let's see. Stand a little bit closer than that. Whoa, where are you guys going? I did not tell them to go that far. God damn it. Let's see. Infantry here. Commandos there. Jedi come here. And scouts go there. A lot of our army is marksmen. More than I expected, actually. So hopefully this works. Unfortunately, we split our army up to the point where it's kind of unwieldy. But it should be fine. We got several groups firing in that general direction, which is really all you need. So let's see. These are the commandos. That's the infantry, I believe. No, those are commandos. Where's the infantry? That's the infantry. Okay. Whatever, it works out. Um, you guys probably shouldn't stand up right there. Let's see. Infantry, if you could get a little bit closer. Oh, wrong one. No, advance, advance. I need you to stand closer, though. That's better. Yeah, perfect. Okay, good. So that is an ideal firing line there. That's actually a lot better than when we do it. Um, or when we try to do it automatically. Because now everybody's spaced fairly well. Nobody's trying to shoot through anybody else. Ooh, that almost hit me. That almost did hit me. <laughs> Somebody is targeting me deliberately. I don't think we've taken any losses yet, though, which is a good sign. Uh, let's see. Speeders and Jedi go ahead and engage whatever's left. That doesn't mean start firing your pistols, it means charge. Damn it. Whatever. Get in there. Cool. Uh, you two. And some of them made it pretty far up there. No casualties on our part. They're completely decimated. Of course, he manages to escape. And we don't have any room for prisoners. So we'll just do a couple level ups and then uh, keep on moving. Oh wow, those guys are already level up. So there goes our whole infantry. Scouts, oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh well. Yeah, oh well. And then you guys need to be at the bottom. No, don't do that. I just wanna access the item pool. Okay, give me anything of value, which is basically just that. Okay. So, Kessel is now ours. I mean, Kessel had been ours for an episode or so, but the system is ours. And so, that should push the huts out a bit. Um, Kashyyyk Outpost is still on the docket as well. Um, that might be the next empire thing that we attack, but then, um, I, as I said earlier, we're going to focus on, like, this area, but I, I think going after the huts would be smarter. It's just really difficult with the ineffective, uh, AI lords that I have. That does remind me, though, since we took another battle station, we should recruit one. Um, yeah, give me another commander for a total of six. And then wherever he pops up, we're going to give him Kessel Battle Station. I believe we already gave away Kessel Outpost. Uh, we'll see if there's a garrison there. If there is, then it means it belongs to somebody else. Because I don't garrison nothing. 
Yeah, Commander Tarl. So he's actually defending his outpost right now. Which is good. Good on him for doing that. Um, we're going to see if we can do a little bit of recruiting. Good. So Commander Ascarl, where the hell are you? We'll find you in a second. Can I recruit from here? Three, mi three militia. Um, hang on. I'm going to get rid of some of these rebels. I want the pilots. I don't want the scouts. So disband that whole group. So we go fleet trooper and then they become pilots. That's what I should have done from the start. You guys need to be way higher up the list. I mean, not maybe that high, but that's fine. Okay, let's try recruiting one more time. Three militia, I'll take them all. Now we gotta go find this new uh, commander of ours. That's not him. They fly around on the same ship though, so we'll keep our eyes open. That's the same patrol fleets. I'm thinking he's probably at the capital, which is, I mean, technically, I think it's Raxus, but I don't know. I don't think there is really a capital, per se, in this in this mod, because you don't have, like, a court or anything. Where the hell is this guy? He's not in Felucia. Uh, he's probably in Raxus, then. Of course, it won't tell me until I, like, land on it. Nope, he's not there, either. So where might this guy be? Hmm. We didn't see him down here. I have no idea. Let's go talk to Zyos and Almania, though, and we'll see if we can't pick up some more quests. Because Almania has a, a Jedi Temple waiting to be recruited from as soon as we have a high enough um, relation with them. So we've got some pirates here, 50 of them. And this should boost our relations with this... Uh, planet if we're successful so let's go ahead and attack now if I had known I was going into a battle here I would have healed myself actually we're already healed so it doesn't matter doesn't matter where are your legs and why are your feet so tiny god these farmers are like tissue paper hmm I should have just charged everybody Use the farmers as like human shields and get the uh, like the Jedi and the shock troopers in there to just start causing havoc. Damn. Come on, keep firing. You guys can't see anything. I'm gonna send in these groups and possibly the commandos as well. Yeah. Because, honestly, sitting back and shooting isn't doing a whole lot. And While they charge, I'll use that opportunity to kind of get in here and do the same. Obviously, I can cover a lot more ground than they can. Ouch. There's a lot of people shooting at me right now. Oh, right over his head. If I run around in circles, they can't do it. <laughs> Like, even if they all stop to turn and face me, that means that they're not shooting at my guys. Whoa, whoa. What was that? I think my mouse just, like, bugged out right there. Stop shooting at me. Where is everybody I told to charge? Did, like, nobody make it? I didn't see anybody go down. Fine, I'll do this myself. Hey, you, get over here. Alright. Is that it? That's it. Wow, that was, like, all me. I wish it would tell me how many kills I got. Because I imagine it was the majority. So, we lost one. We lost an ace pilot. He was the only one that charged when I told him to charge. Um, Zios improved. We're going to refuse because we might get more relation for that, but more importantly... Well, slightly less importantly, but still important. We get some honor for it. So, we're at two. Perfect. We can recruit volunteers from here now. Uh, all one of them. So... You have the industrial factory. That's good. What do we want now? I think either radar or communications. 
Um, Force sensitive temple down the road, but we want to keep this planet well defended, so I think comm center. It's going to take nine days, that's not a big deal. Okay. Now if we head over to Almania, we'll try to boost our relations with them. And uh, they already have the Jedi Temple, so we can start recruiting from them as soon as we get their relations to zero or above. Actually, maybe even like negative one, I'm not sure. Oh, they're already at negative one. Oh, perfect. How convenient. Um, I think if I leave... Mm, I don't know if we can leave without losing this event. I'm just going to go for it, even though we might lose a lot of guys here. So... Let's see, uh, we're going to refuse again, and that's going to put us up to six. Yes, so we can recruit four sensitives now. Um, before we do that, let's make sure there's room. There is room for eight of them. Um, let's get all of you, or as many of you as we can, leveled up. And you should be above Tamyaro. Let's see, go commando. Don't actually go commando, just become a commando. Um, more fleet troopers. And I should probably get all of them up higher in the list. But I think these pirates can all go goodbye. And then we're going to recruit as many force sensitives as we can. And then we'll fill the rest out with militia. So 10, perfect. And then uh, give me some... No militia, huh? I guess it's probably one or the other. Like if you recruit the whole pool of one, there may not be any left for the other. Let's see. So we have the force sensitive temple. Next up is going to be the industrial factory to improve the um, the productivity of this planet. And let's take a look at our new recruits. The 10 Force Sensitive, so they become Jedi Hopeful. So they're really low on the totem pole here. I'm going to put them basically at the bottom, right above my uh, Quartermaster and Medical Droids, because I don't want them killed before they level up. But I do want them to level up, so I think the shared XP from all of our training skills should sort of balance that out to the point where it won't matter that they're down there, but we'll see. So cool, we've basically, or we have improved our relations with both of these plants above the threshold to finally recruit from them. Ruria, we are already well above that, so we can recruit from them whenever we like which is uh, right now. Wow, they really like me. 23, huh? Let's take a look at our outposts here. And I think we'll call it an episode from there. Let me know what you guys think about our plans moving forward. Obviously, we've got two major threats on our border. Uh, the Empire to the west and the Huts to the south. We basically need to pick one and continue to push against them. Um, it's going to be easier to eat up ground against the Empire just because their territory is so vast that they can't defend it all. The Huts are um, sort of a, a lesser threat. I mean, the Huts aren't nearly as strong as the Empire, obviously, but because they're more consolidated, they can be pretty difficult to beat back. So it's not going to be easy either way, but we, we can't just sort of continue picking away at both. We're just going to spread ourselves too thin. So let me know what you guys think there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Star Wars Conquest with you, and I look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode.